hi guys welcome to another video on this video we'll be talking about how to make money blogging on this channel we talk about personal finance so it's gonna be an interesting one we'll be talking about blogging so if you probably search online on how to make money online several times i know blogging or, or being a blogger will be an idea that most articles or most uh, any other most articles gonna point out right so i'm gonna be talking about how you can blog how you can start a blog how you can be a blogger so for for your information on this video uh this is one business that i personally do and i have few blogs i will even be showing you one of my new blog that i just started with recently and so this is very very lucrative business depending on how you want to do it depending on what time uh the t depending on the time you're committing into it right so let's uh, so to it if you're new on this channel please click on the subscribe button if you like this video click smash the like button and share this video so let's go into blog can be likened to a physical real estate like a building like a house for instance right like if you have a house for someone to be able to locate you they need your address right so it's just liking to be a house right like in your house you have uh, various section of your house or various uh, uh department in your house you have your kitchen you have your bathroom you have uh, the rooms you have lobby you have you have various apartment or various component of your own house right it's just like a website to write or a blog you have various sessions you have uh, your about page you have your contact page you have your uh, different categories you are writing on you have your uh, disclaimer page you have your privacy policy page so those are like different components of your blog it's just like a house you have in a house you uh you have different component of your house right so that's the reason why most people usually liking a blog or a website to like an online real estate so it's an online real estate for someone to be able to visit your house they need your home address right so it's just the same thing uh as a blog so if someone need to visit your blog they need your domain name they need your url to be able to visit your blog so and the process starts from a niche for instance a niche is when a niche is just like a a very small category a, a, a sub category for instance uh, some of the lists I have here are like a even broader category. So, if you want to get a niche, you have to also do a deeper research into these broad categories and choose a particular niche from there. So, it is from that niche that you are able to choose based on different research that you will be able to have your domain name and hosting. So, let's start with choosing a niche so switching a niche for instance i would recommend that this should be something you are really interested in you are passionate for so that at the end of the day you your passion for it your enthusiasm for for it will carry you on even when things are kind of challenging right so it's highly important that you write or you start a blog in an area you are very very interested in so i just have uh, some examples here for instance for personal finance is a broad category so on personal finance you have like budgeting you have like um, multiple streams of income you have investing you have frugality and all those kind of so stocks investing so look if you are interested in personal finance topics look at those subcategories do a more research on them for instance you can also even look at topics like bankruptcy and all that and and another thing i would recommend is 
do some keyword research so for instance if you are interested in like bankruptcy do a keyword research on that so that you will be able to know what component you or how you will be able to start your blog in that area for instance there are some free tools that you can use for keyword research for instance i have uh, i can recommend uh, uber suggest so uber suggest is is owned by neil patel is a digital marketing guru so so on uber suggest you on it in a day you have uh, uh you you can you can do a keyword research on three words in a day so you have that free opportunity to do that so for instance let me let me just show you how you can do that for instance you have a keyword uh in an area you are interested in let's say bankruptcy for instance so this will be really help us to be able to know how we want to coin our domain name and also uh, uh to know how many people even do uh research do search for the word bankruptcy in a particular month so that we we'll know oh are there are there a lot of competition or do you have even a chance um when you write articles on this particular topic to be able to rank on google so this is this is why doing a keyword research is very very important especially starting before starting a blog or before starting even writing articles so for instance let's look up bankruptcy it's loading now so it shows that it has about 165,000 search volume which is very high the SEO difficulty is 81 paid difficulty is 69 so let's let's check I'll, I'll analyze this for you on what it, this means so for instance the first one is bankruptcy it's a standalone word here and uh the volume so that, that about 165,000 search for this word in a month so uh the cpc means cost per click right like it's it's uh it's an expensive uh niche uh in terms of if people want to like uh do a paid advertising in this area the cost per click is kind of high so also uh what's it called the seo difficulty so what this seo difficulty means is uh it means that the competition is i uh so it's it indicate the estimated competition in organic search so the higher the number the more competitive it is right so for instance like 81 is means it's highly competitive uh there are a lot of probably articles ranking for this online that then and even the maybe the domain authority of those websites are very very high so compared to like um, your what blog that you, you are st just starting off so your domain authority will be uh, a bit low compared to those um, other other sites so so let's look at other other words uh or other sentence that we can also look at so for instance uh people who search for bankruptcy meaning in a month is just about three thousand six hundred and if you look at it like if you look at this color they are green so green means it indicates that the competition is low in those in those in those uh for that particular uh, keyword right so like bankruptcy discharge the keyword is low uh, the competition is low sorry uh bankruptcy for student loan the keyword is low so so this will give you ideas so definitely i would recommend you go for those that have uh, at least good search volumes and also uh low competition so you'll be able to you'll be able to rank so that is how you carry out your keyword research so that is that is your keyword research then so then the next thing after doing the keyword doing the niche once you once you choose your niche so I, I give an example of the personal finance so the same goes to traveling you can write on traveling if it's your passion technology you can write 
um, tech reviews, maybe on softwares, on, on hardware, or on phones, gadgets, and all that, cryptocurrencies and research. Using that tool and any other free tool that you can uh, get a hold of uh, and do your keyword research and choose a niche. So once you choose your niche, the next step is domain name and hosting. So now, by the time you do your keyword research and you arrive at a particular keyword that you want to use, then you can coin your domain name from there. So domain name, like I mentioned earlier, domain name is just like your address. Your, you can be likened to your physical address, right? So it's the name that your website is going to carry or your blog is going to carry. For instance, you 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 do your you are, you've done your keyword research and you want to use a keyword like bankruptcy, for instance, and then is that you use maybe bankruptcyinfo.com or bankruptcy.com or how do you uh, something around bankruptcy for instance it could be .com, .org, whatever you but I, I recommend you go with .com so so once you have that then you can do your domain once you have your domain name then the next thing is your hosting so hosting so for instance hosting can be uh can be likened to like placing your building uh, uh, a building on a land right like the land you are building on so for instance the land is where you have your building so without the land you can't have a building so without the hosting you can't have your blog or your uh, your, your 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 yeah your own real estate or own real online real estate without having hosted your domain name so that's just about domain name and hosting and if you don't have an idea of how do you want to go about it i recommend that um you use um blue host blue host they have a very good affordable rate you can do your uh, domain name and hosting uh, on this on this platform i'll drop the link inside the description below so check it out so the next thing after you arrive at domain you've done your hosting and domain name then the next thing is to go set up your blog so now another important thing is there are some people who prefer like auto blog and a usual blog right so there are two ways to do it so for instance an auto blog means that you have a blog, blog auto generates article from di from gathering dif from gathering information from different resources online, from different other articles online that are related to that particular topic. So it fetches those information and combine them and have them as an article on your blog. So in that case you don't have to do anything you don't have to write you don't have to do anything it automatically updates it automatically uploads those articles so for visitors to see on your platform so that is auto blog and the usual blog is you have your uh, usual maybe wordpress uh, 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 blog you start writing articles on it and then try to post article uh, do your seo and all that and make sure you have your necessary keywords in your article to be able to rank on google that is all the aspect of it so that way i have information on how you can go about that so for instance if you want to have an auto blog you can either buy an auto blog on flipper you can either buy an auto blog on Flipper. So Flipper is Flipper.com. So you can buy you can buy uh you can buy a business or a blog on Flipper.com. For instance, let's see um let's see this um this one content or advertising. So for instance, you have um you have different website here that are already making money that you can patch purchase on flipper so but it but the thing is this is like an auction 
uh, auction platform where you have to bid uh, for the price of uh, for the price of the website or blog. So and it can it can be expensive at times. So so the important thing here is I have another option for you. If this can be if this is very expensive for you, so uh, you can go to fiverr.com so fiverr.com is a platform where you have a wide range of freelancers in different areas of services so for instance if you want to do an auto blog so you can just type auto blog and and it will come up so and then you see people who do an auto blog for you who do an auto blog for you so this auto blog kind of automatically updates themselves they automatically update themselves and do your auto blog here yeah. so i will drop a link to fiverr.com below in the description so you can come on on fiverr get a freelancer to do your auto blog for you so the other option is the other option is the usual blog. So the usual blog, you can either write those articles yourself, and if you don't have time to write those articles yourself, you can go to Fiverr.com. Fiverr.com too, you have freelancers that that can write for you. So writer or blog post, you will find people who can write a blog post for you. So for instance, this. This person will write a personal finance blog post for 500 words for as low as $35. So, and also another thing is this can be a bit expensive. I also have another website for you where you can go and hire someone, a writer that can write for you. So go to hirewriters.com. So hirewriters.com. You can go to hirewriters.com. So here you can get someone who will write your article for you for as low as 500 word for as low as four dollar 82 cent for beginners right so for but for me i usually go with someone with a, uh, at uh, skill level general skill level or skilled so general skill level or skilled with 500 words you still do like six dollar 90 cent or seven dollar there about then for skilled is 890 right compared to someone on fiverr who is going to write uh 500 words for 35 dollars yeah you you won't be able to write up to four articles 500 of 500 words four articles of 500 words so you can go to iwriters.com for writing services so once you have some blog posts on your on your website then the next thing is how can you monetize how can you monetize so one of the ways you can monetize your blog is google assets google assets so google assets places adverts on your website so if anyone clicks on uh if one of if your visitors click on those adverts you earn a particular amount of money so at the end of the month you earn certain amount of money based on uh number of visitors that click on those ads on your website so that's the reason why for a blog you need a lot of traffic you need a lot of traffic uh, uh to your blog so that your blog can get a lot of attraction and then more visitors then there there are more likelihood of people who are gonna be clicking on those articles uh, on those ads so the more people click on those ads the more the money you make in a month right so another way of monetizing your blog is affiliate marketing so affiliate marketing means that you are either promoting a particular product or services and you're going to get a commission from there so so you can use that also to monetize your blog and you can promote different products um you can go to platforms such as amazon.com um, they have an affiliate or associate program so uh, there's other one like clickbank clickbank is also an affiliate marketplace so you can go there uh, get um, related head uh, product or digital product or services that are related to your niche or to your articles that you are posting and then you 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 
drop the link in or you embed the your affiliate link in your articles and once anyone click on those affiliate link and eventually buy it then you get a commission so that is two major ways you can monetize your blog so there are other ways you can do a membership um maybe you have a course um you can also have an email list you build an email list you um also reach out to your email list and send and uh, sell um, um services to them you can have a course um and your members or your email list can buy a course or purchase that course um that's also an avenue where you make money on on blogging so so yeah so like i mentioned earlier this is uh my this is one of um, the newest blog i just i just uh, started with so it's a good business to do if you are highly interested in that just follow those steps that i that i've presented in this um, in this video and then and then if you have any questions please feel free to drop your questions in the comment below and if you have any uh, if you have any challenges starting a blog please reach out on the comment below and let me know i would answer all the questions you have to ask uh, thank you for watching again please subscribe if you have not done so and like this video share this video thank you so much see you in the next one